It's that time of the year when we're in the garden, we're giving our tomatoes and our eggplant and our peppers some type of support system for them to grow up on. Um, it's according to how much we grow, what system we use. If we're growing just a very few plants, we like to use the collapsible cages where you just unfold them, stick them in the ground, and that works great for just a few plants. Uh, we have more than that this year with this area right here. So we're using a, a string trellis type system. And the products that we use for this right here is either one of these two. And this is a biodegradable 100% cotton product. This is more of a synthetic product that the commercial growers, the market farmers use. And the great thing about it, it's in a box and it's got a holes there so you can run your belt through there, put it on your side, simply pull the twine out from the box. 2,100 yards in this box, so there's a lot of product in there. And if you're not growing a big garden, this will last you for a few years. This product here is also used for uh, chef's twine for in the kitchen. Uh, you know, if you don't get it all up and you leave it in the ground, it's simply going to biodegrade. Uh, pulling on it in between your fingers, you ain't got to worry about it burning because it is a cotton product. This year what we used is we used Florida weave system on our tomatoes and eggplant peppers. Now on the end I put up real sturdy T post as an anchor and I use these wood posts in the middle. And the wood posts are probably about every three foot apart. On the ends you want to make sure that you got something real sturdy because you're going to be pulling more on that and it's more important than what you have in the middle there. Basically what I would use is whatever I had or whatever I could reuse. Now with the Florida weave system, there's two different ways of doing this and I'll show you. First, I tie off on the ends. <clears throat> And then I kind of zigzag in between. Now I've already ran one down here a few days ago. So this is the second time and I'll probably end up having about four or five times according to how big my plants get. So I run down through here and then I run back this way. I get to the post and I keep it tight and I run around there a couple times. Then same thing again, run that way, come back this way, get to the post keep it tight. The cotton will stretch just a little bit, but it's really not bad. Same thing, in and out. Now tomatoes are fairly tough, and you normally don't have any problems with breaking them off or anything doing this. But when you get to the peppers, I do have a problem, and I, I do it another way. I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so I've come this side, and now I'm going to come back and catch the other side. What that does is kind of keeps everything tied off, keeps it from moving this way and this way. And when I get to the end, just tie it off. I do my eggplants the same way, same weave method I do with the tomatoes. Now eggplants are, have a real bulky fruit on there and they have a lot of wind damage they can blow over real easy. So it's important that you support them. So I go this way, I come back this way, same thing here. This way, this way. Keep it tight, tied off. So I start back and I catch the other side of the plant, hold it in there just like that.
and I'll probably end up doing this uh, on the eggplants maybe one more time and I'll give plenty of support to hold that fruit on there. I have different pepper varieties right here and peppers are a lot more tender than eggplants and tomatoes so I have to change the way I do this a little bit. And this is still considered a Florida weed but instead of zigzagging in between the plants I'm just going to run down the side and then run back and what that's going to do is secure them this way and but if you get them too tight with the in and out method it's very easy to snap them off because they're real tender. So I run down this side, get down here, tie it off real tight. And although some of the plants may not be big enough, I'll go ahead and do it and I'll come back as the plants grow and get them up, put them in between there. Tie it off here at the end. Okay, and there you have it. That's called the Florida Weave System. A great way to support your peppers and eggplants and tomatoes.